thank you for all the people who bought training. Thank you for the people who are about to buy training. And shout out to the Nerd Tribe for your well-constructed comments. I am seeing the beginnings of a YouTube renaissance. Um, I am seeing a lot of YouTubers essentially try to instruct their YouTube audience that you can do this simple, easy thing and make a lot of money, such as low content books. I have seen a lot of YouTube creators. It's like, hey, you create low content content books you can make five thousand dollars a month it's pretty simple i have seen there are two white youtubers that i've been keeping my eye on because frankly these people lie and i've been seeing that their youtube channels are starting to tank and they will say that affiliate marketing um here's the thing if you don't have a following, affiliate marketing is extremely hard to make money. You got to buy traffic. You need traffic. So people, well, let's go ahead and start here. We're in the recession. The global reset is on and popping. And people are looking for ways to make money. Um, this is something that's going to be even more pressing in the future. You have a lot of people out here who are looking for ways to make money. And these opportunists, there's this commercial that's been running for quite some time. How to make money using Audible by the Mickelson Trends. And essentially what you will do is go out to a third world country, find someone to create the audible book, the audio, the audio book for you, pay them and then put the audio book on audible. And as an experienced million dollar selling author, um, I feel these claims are somewhat dubious because what's happening is certain niches are being jam packed with junk and I don't think that this is going to work in the future um, and what you're seeing is a, a cult literally a cult of YouTube creators TikTok creators Instagram people putting out content that you can do this thing that's real simple really hard really easy to do and extremely lucrative. And what I am finding out, because here's the thing, times are hard. People are looking for ways to make money. So people are going to YouTube University, TikTok University, and they're finding out that a lot of this stuff doesn't work. Case in point, there's a video. When I found the video, it had 130,000 views. The video now has half a million views. How to start a cargo van with 300 bucks. It doesn't work. You can't get the cargo vans. Uh, and in the comments, there are people who are saying in the comments, hey, man, I tried this. It didn't work. So we're in this state where people are becoming really pressed to figure out a way to make some more money, to bring some more income into their lives. And I'm here with a different message. Stop looking for the simple and easy ways to make money. Just stop it. Uh, I'm, a, I'm about to share something with you. And hopefully it will reach you. Hopefully you're listening. When I came up with Hustlers Kung Fu, I actually had a demo or a starter or a learning process. 
before I came across the site, think of it. I had put together some courses and stuff using Vidcaster, using to check out as my payment processor and another piece of software. Um, the results were okay. They, they weren't nothing to write home about, but it taught me because I, I went through that process and then I went through some stuff with Hustlers Kung Fu. And then I hit a home run. So what you're going to have to do if you want to make money online or offline is you're going to have to go through some knocks across your head because that's what I went through. And ultimately, that first version of my online courses and then Hustlers Kung Fu set the stage for B-School for Hustlers, which make seven figures it this whole process took me about three years so as an experienced entrepreneur with some sales and marketing skills it still took me three years to to get it to where i wanted to be where i'm doing what i'm doing with it and if you keep looking for these simple easy Essentially, these things that don't really require you to change as a person don't require you to do any additional work, doesn't require you to uh, you're just going to be disappointed. Um, I was watching a video and, you know, and I, I got a video coming up on the corporate game about this billionaire secrets, the investing secrets of the ultra wealthy as if. Getting this information is going to make you wealthy. <sighs> guys, 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 guys. We're entering that moment of reckoning where things are about to get tight for a lot of people. And what is going to happen? Uh, this is what I see happening because. We have a lot of people, a lot of people looking for ways to make money. They're coming to YouTube University. They're coming to TikTok University. And I see a renaissance. I actually see my channel popping off hard next year. Because here's the thing. As a person who is a non-business person with no business skills, no sales skills, no marketing skills, none of these skills, right? Um, these skills can be learned. It's just going to take a little time, but you can learn these skills. Uh, this whole promise of lucrative paydays by being an average, normal, regular person, it's not in the cards. It's just not in the cards. And uh, literally, because once again, I, I'm I'm getting ready to run some ads and I'm getting ready to come up with a different messaging. Messaging is key. And I know that if I come up with a YouTube ad that is simple, it's easy. I will bring in a lot of people who don't want to put in the work. So I'm really thinking about my messaging and I, I'm really working on that. Because um, right now, the Internet is full of false promises that you can do this little thing. You don't have to work that hard. You don't have to really stretch yourself. You don't have to um, do anything significant. And you can make all of this money sitting at home taking vacations with the family. Literally, there's this one thing that's called the no coder, this you, it's, this um, commercial no coding app and how TJ, who was a wire, who worked in the oil fields, now is making $16,000 a month. Working from home is coming in like clockwork. And I am seeing all of these 
average, well, I'm seeing examples because um, anyone can come online and say anything, right? Unless I see uh, proof or I see some tax returns, I'm not believing any of these guys or in any of their income claims. Uh, a pay stub, a bank statement, you know, if I don't see that, I'm just not. There's this one guy, Kal Kala Kalai, whatever his name is, is, he wears one of those old school pimp hats. He went to um, an ATM and showed his bank balance, which is hard to fake. But was that actually his bank balance? Because I would have been more, you know, uh, believing it if I saw a bank statement with his company name on it. And we don't even know what his company name is, but um, you see a lot of guys pushing affiliate marketing. And I think the guys who sell affiliate marketing training make more money than the people who are actually doing affiliate marketing. So we've got that conundrum. Um, one of the things, and there's nothing wrong with selling online courses. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I do that. Um, but what I feel is wrong is to use outright lies, half-truths, falsehoods, methods of appealing to desperate people I think there's something wrong with that I think there's a lot wrong with that and as we go forward with this global reset this recession that's going to push more and more people to the brink that's going to put more and more people to the edge of homelessness who will be looking for legitimate ways to make money I feel that this is why DoorDash, Instacart, and Walmart Spark, and Amazon Flex, this is why I feel these videos get a lot of views, is because if you do them, you will make additional money. If you do drive for DoorDash, you will make additional money. And people are kind of realizing that you know, DoorDash, Instacart, Spark, Amazon. Um, it's not Amazon Relay. Amazon Relay is for the box trucks, but it's an Amazon delivery. I forget what it's called. But these are real and legitimate ways to make additional income. And I'm seeing more and more people pile into the DoorDash, the Instacart world. And... I am seeing, like I said, there was these two white content creators who pretty much were just lying their asses off. And I have seen their views drop because people are trying to utilize this garbage, worthless advice they're putting out and it ain't working. And they're like, uh, so literally one of them has fallen off. She She's not making as many videos as she did because... Here's the thing, and I'm, I'm going to say something. If you're a halfway attractive female on YouTube, that alone would get you views. There's this um, truck driver who put truck driver Angelica in the search bar. That will bring up her videos. Uh, she's blonde. She's got blue or green eyes. I'm not 100% sure. She's very attractive. She's got a tight little booty. And her videos will get two, three hundred thousand views of her literally just backing up the truck. Nothing special. She's like, oh, today we're going to back up the truck in two hundred thousand views because men are thirsty. So if you're a halfway decent looking woman on YouTube, that's going to account for at least 30 percent of your views right there, if not half. So both of these girls are. Somewhat, I mean, they're nothing I would holler at, but once again, I'm not the average man. But I can see, because I literally, uh, I have seen 
in my estimation, pound puppies get a lot of views because they have nice buddies. They have that pound puppy face, but they have a really nice body. And even with them being, you know, YouTube attractive, we'll call it that, their views are starting to tank. And there was like literally, you know, Graham Stephan and Meet Kevin have shown that having a YouTube channel that blows up can make you wealthy, can make you millions and millions of dollars of AdSense revenue. And um, I feel that in 2023, a lot of these YouTubers who've been putting out, I'm going to call it what it is, bad content, to come here on YouTube and to say that you can do this thing. Uh, there's, there's a girl in the low content book space home boss i think that's the name of her channel and she comes out and says this stuff is not true to actually make money you got to work really hard you you know she gives really good advice and she gives her numbers where she makes two and three thousand dollars a month which she is thrilled she's not making five thousand dollars a month she'll make two to three thousand she has a lot of books she, she you know home boss and she gives you real actionable stuff that will work. And, you know, she's she's working. She's actually working. And I feel that the people who are trying to get YouTube large by putting out this garbage content, I think their day of reckoning is coming. I think we're getting to a point where people are sick and tired of the bad content because you've got to be extremely financially unsophisticated to believe that this garbage works. That's the first thing because I, I, I didn't believe how many people were that financially unsophisticated until I started really paying attention to which videos on YouTube are winning and what videos on because right now there there's a ton of creators coming to the personal finance space, uh, the credit card space. Uh, there's a there's a guy. His name is Simon Katz. Simon Katz. Simon is a legitimate millionaire. Legitimate. His, his videos don't get the views. Uh, he, he's, he's put up many reviews. He has the American Express black card. He's got a video where he spent $3 million on the platinum in his business. He does not get the views that someone who will come on YouTube with straight up lies. You know, Simon's is a legit... Simon Katz. You go ahead and check him out. He's got the American Express. Uh, he will get... He will not get the views. And this guy is legitimately wealthy. He will not get the views. And this is, I think, a flaw of YouTube. Because if you know what you're doing, you can game YouTube. You can game YouTube and make a lot of money. And I feel that people are so selfish don't give a damn about no one else that they would put this garbage content out all day long with little regard to the impact it will make on the people. And I, like I said, I feel that YouTube is getting ready to go to a renaissance where this stuff is just not going to work. Um, and we're going to get to the real content because uh, Ty Lopez, once again, he was putting out this video of, you know, like if you just get this knowledge, right, did you just simply get this knowledge that you're going to become a billionaire? All the billionaires that I've studied have done something. It's not about getting this secret, hidden, esoteric knowledge. It's about actually doing something. In building businesses that serve people. That's how they're making the money. And we're in, like I said, I'm just kind of waiting because, you know, there's certain trends I track. And to see that both of these 
white women who've been putting out this terrible, terrible content. Because as a um, seasoned entrepreneur, I know what makes money and I know what doesn't make money. And I understand because I understand the game. If you can get the attention of YouTube, you can make a lot of money. These the facts. This is facts. Um, and I feel that people at the moment will do anything to make a buck. They will say anything. They will do anything. They will put out anything. This is why, like the Manosphere. The manosphere, in my opinion, is full of antisocial behavior, teaching men not to have girlfriends, not to get married, not to be in relationships, just going out here and be by your lonesome. And versus actually learning the craft of seduction and learning how to get women. No, no, we don't want to do that. All we want to do is talk about how crazy these women are and, and all this other stuff versus actually getting off your ass in learning what you need to learn so you can be successful with women. It's the same mindset that goes with making money. Like once again, in the United States of America, there is no shortage of money. There is no shortage of money. There is no, there is no shortage. There is tons and tons and tons of money out there. What there's a shortage of is people willing to learn the craft of getting money, learning how to market, learning how to advertise, learning how to build web pages, learning how to run campaigns. That right there, the group of people who learn how to do these skill sets and continue to put out content, these people are going to win. But the people who want to remain who they are don't want to learn anything new, don't want to build, don't want to create anything. These people are going to continue to suffer and they're going to suffer in a major, major way because the reality is it takes you learning how to get high income skill sets to make high income. One of the things I've seen is the um, the look. There was a guy who looked like a normal human being about two years ago. And what he has done has transformed himself. He has face tattoos and neck tattoos and hand tattoos. Um. Maybe it's a generational thing, but for me, if I see that you have all these tattoos, I am not going to listen to you on how to get money. I'm just not. I'm, I'm just not going to listen to you how to get money. Now, that's me. But apparently, if you're under 30, that's what you're looking for to get your advice on how to get money and there's there's something that this legitimately lucrative building a personal brand can make you a lot of money and that's what this guy did he built a personal brand based upon the edgy tattooed look in the whole you know and the guy's really in shape so it's a lot of pictures of himself on Instagram and I feel I could be wrong. I feel that's only going to work for so long because here's the thing. Um, how many people, cause this guy literally had to transform himself to build his personal brand. He could not do his personal brand the way he would look naturally. And you know, Kudos to him for making that hard decision to set himself up to that because he's making plenty of money from his personal brand. But how many people can build a personal brand? How many people, you know, because like 
I've seen people with huge Instagram followings. I've seen people on here on YouTube. I've seen people on TikTok. Give you an example. Demi, she's the biggest TikToker. She's got like 180 million followers on TikTok, you know, with her little simple dance moves. And she's leveraged that personal brand into, I think, dropping a perfume. So building a personal brand can make you a lot of money. And what I'm seeing is there are a lot of people who have personal brands that they make a lot of money off their personal brand, but there's no substance behind the personal brand. And what I mean by that, there's not a business model that you can run for 10 years straight behind the personal brand. Because here's the thing, a personal brand is like a television show. Friends was a show that made a lot that was on for many, many years. But at some point, friends had to end. Same thing with a personal brand. Michael Jackson had his day. It ended. Prince had his day and it ended. So this is the danger of building the personal. A personal brand is a short lived type thing. It's not going like, look, the number of rappers who come out who are hot. Personal brands, they're building these personal brands and they're not um, they're not about longevity. Um, there is um, this female singer and her boyfriend. I have no clue to what this dude does. There's just pictures of him on Instagram with money and jewelry. No clue what he does. And I think it's from his personal brand. Uh, this dude literally got in the bathtub eating some um, chips. And the video got like a million views. So anything that appeals to this younger Gen Z, it can be based upon tattoos and track. It, it doesn't matter. They will buy it. They will buy it. Yeezys, which I think are the ugliest shoes on the planet. They will buy it. This is who I see wearing Yeezys and Yeezy slides. And, you know, at the end of the day, you got a choice you got to make. Um, do you want your brand built upon tattoos, hip hop, flashy stuff? Because I don't think that stuff's going to age well. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's going to age well. But I, what I am seriously, seriously understanding is the culture or the cult, because cult is part of the word culture. The cult of you can make all this money and you don't really have to do anything extraordinary is about to crash real hard. 2023 is going to be the year of a lot of transformation. Once again, there's going to be people who are going to get rich in 2023. Hopefully you're one of them. But I, but I feel, once again, these people who are putting out this simple information that anyone can do, what's happening, this is kind of what's happening with Airbnb right now. Literally, I am seeing failed Airbnbs all over Zillow every day. Because everyone is rushing to be in the Airbnb. I literally saw a guy was like, hey, if you got a spare bedroom, you need to put that on Airbnb right now. And I was just like, Airbnb, um, Turo, I got a question. And I put this in the video. Remember a few years ago when everybody was getting in trucking? Then fuel rates went up. Now, here's the thing. There are people right now making a lot of money in trucking. But these are not people who just hopped into trucking as a side hustle. These are people who built their businesses. Uh, they know trucking inside and out. They've got direct contracts. There are people right now, even with these high fuel rates, making a ton of money in trucking. But just and right now, once again, there are people who are in the hospitality industry, which is Airbnb and Turo, who are making plenty of money. But these folks didn't just jump in the Toro or Airbnb. They, they understand, oh, I'm in the hospitality industry. They have a good understanding of what it takes to get guests, to keep guests happy. They're not, once again, 
But there's a, so many people for every person in the trucking industry that's making money for the person in Airbnb or Turo making money. You literally have a million who are losing their losing their ass because they're not business people. This kind of goes back to the promise of easy wealth by not really learning your craft. Like I said, right now, there's someone who's doing Airbnb who's making a ton of money right now. Yet at the same time, you have a bunch of people who are about to go into foreclosure on their investment property that they bought for Airbnb. What's the difference? The people who are making money in trucking, the people who are making money with Toro, the people who are making money with Airbnb, understand it's a real business. It's not a side hustle. It isn't something you can do passively. It's something that requires planning, strategy, and hard work. And that's the difference between the people who are winning in trucking, winning in Toro, winning in Airbnb, versus the people who, like, once again, I, I could have had my Mercedes go out a lot more if I had lowered the price, which would have been a hospitality business driven decision. But I didn't want my car wrecked. So I kept the price high to draw more responsible, you know, and typically the people who rented that car were 40 plus. Uh, one gentleman who rented the car four times, and every time he got picked up, he got picked up by an SUV. This was someone who appreciated luxury. He got picked up by uh, Uber, you know, because he wanted the room. He was about 6'6", tall guy, so I could see that he wanted the room. But what you're going to have is people who are piling into these so-called easy, simple side hustles that don't really require them to learn shit are going to lose their ass. And you're going to have a small percentage of people who are going to win with these things because they understand they must treat it like a business. They must treat it like it's a business. And this, this is why the cult of easy money side hustles, I believe, are coming to an end. Now, scams, scams are never going away. As the economy continues to melt down, as we go through this recession, as things get worse, scams will increase. So the number of scams you will see online are going to dramatically increase. They're going to go up. You're going to see more and more scams, outright scams. These people are just trying to get money. They're not trying to help you at all. And once again, I feel that some of the people who have these so-called are they're, they're really scammers. They're really scammers. And that's just going to be something that you're going to have to become financially sophisticated enough to look at this offer and say, hey, is this something real or is this a scam? Because um, I've literally seen people make millions of dollars off of really bad training because they know how to market it. They got the drip. They got the car. They're on the private jets. And I, I did research the private jets, um, pretty much my research, because I, I, I didn't research all private jets. There might be a deal out there, but everything I came up came up with pretty much what I put in my earlier videos. Uh, this one put Jet Saver. It was like the cheapest was a turboprop, and it was like $20,000 round trip from Atlanta to Miami. So... There may be deals out there, but I, I didn't find any deals. Um, but you, you're just going to continue to see these scammers and these people. They just want your money. They just want your money. They don't want to help you. They don't want to see you be be successful. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you make money. They just want your money. Just like that thief that breaks into your house and goes through your personal possessions and steals the valuables and leaves in the middle of the night. That's pretty much what these people are. And once again, as the economy gets bad and it gets worse and worse, 
You're going to see more scams, more of these felonious offers, more of these low content books. Because uh, once again, understand, I have been there. You want to make some money and you want you want to do something that's within your abilities. OK, message, increase your abilities. That's the only way you're going to win this game. You have to increase your abilities. And for everyone who's looking for something that you can remain who you are, not particularly diligent, not particularly a hard worker and make a lot of money. You people will continue to be looking because that's they ain't, they're, they're not making this easy opportunity where, hey, you can be a bum and you can make a million dollars a year. Um, ain't, that ain't happening, man. It ain't happening, dog. It ain't happening. It ain't happening at all.